Mm, maybe I can get the nugget. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo with you. So, I'm at my local park testing the Mifan Illusion casting and let's see if I can catch anything. So this is the illusion slash casting, as you already know by the title of the video, I already did the unbox for this rod, I was waiting for perfect wading conditions to take it out, but since the weather is so messed up, at least here, we had rain, cold, the water, it's still freezing for this time of the year, the fish are very lethargic on the morning, which it's the time that I always yeah. fish, I always fish in the morning and it's a very very hard conditions to get something to bite so the video will be very very cut very very sensitive the casting is being a bit hindered by the wind yeah it's true i had a difficult time because it was a very very windy day but let's chop chop and go to the meat and bones of this video since it's an hour long and i'm having to edit a lot of things usually my videos are big the raw format that i take from my dji action camera but usually i will make a good intro i will say good good for me and a good outro and today was just fishing and i was very very quiet on the mic so you see me here trying to make some casts on the mouth of the creek trying to catch some fish uh, getting some overspills because I'm throwing a 0.5 of a gram jig head which on casting gear with one year experience one and a half years experience of casting gear it's not that easy this one is a goner no it's not you can save it believe in yourself believe achieve conceive Yes, poke it, poke it, poke it, poke it a bit more. Yeah, I saved it. So, what took me so long to test this rod, other than the perfect conditions, was for me to have a better hand on casting and the silver feather to be broken you in. You see the casting ability, and I'm with a lot of breaks, I'm at three on the silver feather. And after dialing in the casting and the power that I needed to cast, I was able to start to do some aiming and by the end of the 10 minutes I gave myself to cast tests around the, this creek sand I was right on the mouth of the creek pinpointing my casts and it was not that big of a deal for such a slow roll but since there were no fish in here, not on the small creek, not on this part of the park that's all in shade and it was very very overclouded and all the rocks are near the bottom, I started to go where I know that are rocks that are exposed to the sun. But as you can see, not everything is sunshine and roses on YouTube. I left my jig head on the fence and when I cast it I made a huge bird nest and also my line wind knot on the guides near the tip so this is a worst case scenario because of my doom bassery I don't know if the camera will show but my lure is somewhere on that fence with 0.4 PE it took me two minutes to fix everything the backlash and the very very hard to take knot on the rod mm, maybe I can get the nugget as I told you I'm going to a spot where I know that are rocks near the surface and they are white and have been exposed to the sun which it's a good thing probably it will stimulate fish activity and it will gather some fish around because it's a piece of structure the weather is so moronic instead of getting warmer the day is getting colder you see the shove over here they don't care they are suspended they really don't care you see me here i'm fishing near this stone wall 
uh, right in front of me because it it's, has been baking on the morning sun now it's a bit overclouded but it has it had been soaking with sun and fish should congregate around there to warm up on this cold water and now I think you cannot see because I don't have a polarized lens but I make two and th or three casts in here and I see some fish activity nibbling on the end of my soft plastic because I have a huge boulder that almost touches the surface and now I will have a, oh, a strike so I insist on the jigging of the rod very very slow and yes it's done finally and it's not a chub I think let's see what it is yeah actually it's just chub Ooh, what attempts are awful this guy is like cold 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 very 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 harsh conditions and now i know i know why water is very very cold but we discount the illusion you see this youtuber pro movement where i hide the identity of the passerby lady let's move spots for a bit I'll make some cast testing from the ancient bridge with the wind on my back, some favorable action. Again, half a gram jig head and I think the plastic will not reaching one gram so maybe 0.6 maximum 0.7 still on the cast load of this rod Ooh, I think I had a, a bite Let's check it to see. Yep, 10 meters with no fussing on the reel. Silver feather is on three. Let's give it a bit less. So two and a half and I'll make another cast. Same spot, I think now it's just a question of line and the lure because you see the I think if I don't know if how well the camera will show you see the light bending and the lure going down I think it's I muted myself because I was not making a lot of sense basically right now I'm running on the air resistance of the profile of the thing that I'm throwing so I can't really throw it any harder and going down on the brakes just made it bird nest but I can tell you that on three on the silver feather with this rod you will not have any major issues casting half a gram and if you're on a creek you don't and you want to fish like one gram you'll have no problems yeah also with this length yes six feet 1.8 meters the shorter one no fish in here i like to fish very very shallow water 
because it's easier for the fish, the smaller ones to pick up the, the lure. Is anything lurking in here? No, so I returned to the first place of success on that boulder. Let's see again, the rocky place. So it's actually quite fun to be able to use casting gear with such low weights on such close quarters. You see me in here doing a blast cast, a side cast, where I got like 10, 11 meters from like parallel to the bank. I'm adjusting my drag because I'm expecting monsters to bite. And I got another one. You see? Tremendous. Imagine catching another this monster one. on casting gear. Barely five fingers. And yet, you will see the cockiest thing I will ever do on video after I release this fish. I, I, I'm editing the video, doing the voiceover and I'm disgusted with myself. So I catch the second dinkiest fish ever and I do a flick cast. But I was able to do it. So at least I didn't snag it in the grass or bird nest to oblivion. So let's speed the video a bit and see me catch another one. What? Another one! Again, ding fast. Someone is calling me. It was Drake because he's interested in the small ones. I think I'm gonna be casting and going and going and casting because Almost one hour of fishing. Uh, there will be no biggies today. The weather needs to warm up a little bit more. I'm talking right now because this video doesn't have an outro and I want to give you my final thoughts on the first outing of the Mi Fine Illusion slash casting. And the video not having an outro, it's a good thing because I had a blast and I just fished until I ran out of time. So with that said, that's the pro. And the other pro is that the rod actually casts very well lower weights. So 0.5 of a gram, no problems. I tried uh, on a different day, not on the water, and I was able to cast 0.3 grams, like six, seven meters consist consistently five so on a quick situation you will be able to pass by with this rod uh, so i will recommend this rod for fun but now the cons of this rod actually the first one is not a con it's just a necessity you will need a good reel for this rod like the silver feather and the reel has to be broken in so my silver feather has a lot of miles in it already it's a bit broken in so the bearings are nice and spun uh, for uh, some time now uh, actually it's the only real maybe you can try to pull it off with the i star aurora because i know it's capable of casting lower weights but for actually to function properly i will still recommend the silver feather for this rod and the silver feather it's overing around 100 dollars the other one it's the commodore uh, or the kingfisher so around 200 250 dollars uh, for a 35 dollar rod or 45 depending when you get it on a super deal or on the store it's a bit of a stretch but if you have one of these reels or another one that is capable of casting sub 1 grams, feel free to get this rod. 
the other thing I can tell you is if you are an American uh, this road probably is very slow for you you are um, used to faster roads than this one if you are in Europe like me and you target a uh, target a lot of I would say bait fish like chub uh, perch uh, soft mounted fish you love this rod it's like the nano jig that you have on uh, northern europe uh, a lot of i don't know sub 50 gram uh, blanks uh, that people do use in canals this is casting a lot more fun uh, actually i would say more manageable um, more uh, it's more manageable for close quarters and when you have uh, trees and things around you it's harder when you have things behind you i don't know if the my point is getting across but uh, side and front it's easier than uh, with spinning gear but with that said i'll leave you with the rest of the video everything will be linked below remember when you use the links you are helping me you're not paying anything else and you keep the channel um, growing and having funds to make unbiased reviews even though you think i'm work working for me fine i actually don't work for them the guy mocks me because i spend too much money on the store and he says he will tell my wife but i actually never got anything for free from me fine i even paid for the nano jig rod i asked them to send me a sample and i paid for the sample so no favors doing here i really like the brand i'll be getting even more things from them but as i promised you i'll leave you with the rest of the video with another capture another one so even on a dreadful day i managed to catch something Four fish, none of them were any good, but better than skunking. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Yes, I'm still fishing. Bye.